right, what's up you guys? So I have been getting a lot of questions about interviews and I've been doing a lot of mock interviews lately because it is interview season for like the PA cycle. A lot of people are getting interview offers and going to interviews and it usually happens during this like fall kind of period into the winter uh, for a summer slash I would say kind of August fallish start. So with that being said, I wanted to give you guys five things that you should definitely do while you are preparing for your interview, okay? So that you can have a successful interview. So if you are preparing for an interview or are hoping for an interview or will one day have an interview to PA school or anything else, um, you know, this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about interview time. It is interview season, I'm excited for you guys. I remember like interviewing and you know, how nerve wracking it could be because it's just so unknown. But you know, it is also very exciting because this is your opportunity to showcase yourself, your character, your personality, um, so that they can see exactly how it fits in with their cohort that they they are planning. So there are five things that I definitely think that you guys should be doing, remembering, um, kind of studying up on while you are preparing for your interview. Now, I mean, when I say them, maybe you might think they're simple or they, they're things that you may have think about, thought about before. Uh, but trust me, when I do my mock interviews through Get That C University, I've realized that people don't really do these things. They don't understand how important it is and they kind of get tripped up on some of the questions that I'm asking them. So let's get into the five things right now, okay? So the number one thing that I definitely think you should be doing if you are offered an interview or preparing for an interview is researching the school. Now you would think that that's like a no-brainer, be like, yeah, of course, I already researched the school school because I applied to this program and so yeah you know I know about the school but that's not always the case sometimes you apply to a program or people apply to schools and they're like oh I'm applying to it because it has like a lower requirement for a GPA or it is in the home state um, that I want to stay in or it's somewhere where I want to live or you know my boyfriend is there my girlfriend lives in that that city or I heard good things about the school right but it's not really I've done like my thorough research on what the school is about you know what their goals and their mission statement is what do they do in like their off kind of time like are they doing mission work you know do they have free clinics that they help out at these are the kinds of things that you definitely need to be researching because these are the things that you can use as questions when you're ultimately asked do you have any questions for us um, that's typically something that is asked in an interview and so it's important for you to know about the program and actually have some you know well thought out in-depth questions that you may want to ask or know about so I always tell you guys to research the school look at their mission statement and their goal because another thing that I like to ask and that people like to ask in interviews is how does you like how can you fit in with our mission or our goal for blah 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 how do you see yourself fitting in um, and you have to have an answer for that okay so if you don't have an answer for that and you're kind of stumbling and you don't even know what the mission and the goal is um, you know that's kind of like a red flag so definitely research the school before you go on your interview okay so that's like the number one thing. The next thing that I definitely think you should do is go in like a day early to kind of look at your surroundings, like research the surroundings of the school. Um, so I did this, I liked it. I thought that it was very beneficial just to kind of see like, okay, well, where are the areas that I could possibly live? Um, you know, I looked at like how close, like, grocery stores were and you know kind of things to do like a mall movie theater like places where I can decompress you know what did this city have to offer were there walking trails you know was was there hiking and things that I could do there was like was there a church you know like that was something that I was also like very very interested in because I'm like you know I gotta get you know my <laughs> I gotta get my spirit filled refilled you know filled back up as well um, and kind of what the school system looked like for my daughter at the time that was going to be in school 
And so that is important if you have a family, um, you know, if you're bringing your family down with you, all of these things are important. But even if you don't have a family, just that lifestyle that you're going to be living is important. So you want to look at proximity to school, possible places where you can live. Um, and the only way that you will really be able to do that is if you kind of research the surrounding city and the areas of the school before you actually get there. I mean, of course you can do it afterwards, but it's nice to know ahead of time, like, oh, okay, like, yeah, this isn't a good place. Place. Um, I think I would like to live here if I got in that kind of stuff okay so definitely research the surrounding areas of the school um, before you actually get there for the interview and I would suggest you do that by getting there a day early the next thing that you should absolutely do is practice 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 and I know people say practice makes perfect and it's not even really about practice making perfect um, and it's not about practice making perfect because that's like something that somebody else used to say um, that I thought, you know, they thought they were being pretty witty. But anyways, I digress. Practicing helps you get more comfortable with answering questions. And so, you know, you could do mock interviews with Get That's the University. We do have lots of mock interviewers that you can choose from. Um, and we've been getting quite a bit. So it's, you know, you can go ahead and go to the website and I'll put the link right here. You can go to the website and sign up for your mock interview today um, if you are doing any interviews or planning for interviews in the future but do mock interviews you know answer questions with your family and friends um, I suggest you just go you know and look at possible interview questions look at YouTube videos um, look at Instagram you know I'm sure TikTok has stuff as well uh, but you know use all of your resources this is like this is just a time of researching okay use all of your resources to actually sit down and practice and do interview questions and get comfortable with it because a lot of the times you're not the, the issue with the interview is not the fact that you're sitting here um, and you're like you know you, you you don't know the answer to a question or you can't answer the question because you know it's just your brain is off and foggy it's just because you're not comfortable and you're so nervous so your nerves are already going to be kicking in that it kind of compounds everything that's going on so because of that the only way that you can get over those nervousness and that kind of fear of interviewing and talking to people and you know public speaking I guess you can say is by practice and so that's why public speakers practice their speeches you know pastors practice their sermons, um, teachers practice their lectures. It's important for you to practice um, your your uh, your options when it comes to the the interview questions, okay? So definitely do that. Make sure you practice, okay? All right, the next thing that you should absolutely positively do is research the PA profession. So I am pretty sure you're gonna at least get one question about the PA profession. You know, maybe when it was founded, who's the father of the PA profession? You know, like what do PAs do? That kind of stuff. And it's important that you know about the career that you're getting into. And so again, I know some of you are like, uh, duh, Adana, of course, like I, I know about the PA profession, but I ask people questions about the PA profession all the time in my mock interviews and they don't know the answer and then they don't know how to answer not knowing the answer so it is important that you don't even find yourself stuck in that situation go research the PA profession but if for whatever reason you don't know the answer to a question you need to be able to find a way to kind of turn that around and say why you don't know the answer or you know hey you know I, I honestly don't know the answer I don't understand the question do you mind repeating it whatever the case may be but try to get yourself some time to actually think of an answer or buy your way out of that question okay? Okay, and so these are kind of like tips and tricks that you will learn in interviews, mock interviews, while inter doing interview questions, but definitely you need to be researching the PA profession and what the profession is all about, where you where we may see the, the profession going in the future. Um, 
all of those various different things because when you are trying to get into a career, it's important that you know about it, okay? And the last thing, the number five thing that you should do while preparing for an interview slash, you know, you're about to go on your interview maybe the next day is to get a good night's rest. Now, you don't want to be like falling asleep. Interview processes can be very long and lengthy. You know, sometimes they are online, um, you know, through this whole like COVID pandemic stuff. Like a lot of people have shifted some of their their interviews to the online forum, but not all of them are. And if you are going for an in-person interview, uh, on campus, usually they are hours long, like you're there from around 8 to like 2 p.m. And so if that is the case, you want to make sure that you get a good night's rest and you have a good breakfast because you want to be rejuvenated, you want to be feeling good, you want to be energized for what is to come because this is the first day of the rest of your career, right? This is the possibility of you coming into a career that you have been working towards for years. And so it's important that you put your best foot forward. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that, um, I say, uh, and I'm specifically talking about your best foot forward is by having a good night's rest um, and a great breakfast, okay? So take all of those, put it into your back pocket and you know keep it there for when it's time for you to interview because you definitely will succeed if you are doing these things, um, doing your research and getting a good night's rest, all right? Hope this was helpful. If you thought so, go ahead and like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That to University. Go ahead and check us out on GetThatToUniversity.com so that you can sign up for your mock interview today um, so that you can be well prepared for any interviews that you have coming up in the future. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.